Hi everyone and welcome to Web Step Tutorials. This is Ahmed Fakhr and this tutorial about how to create a full backup to your website with Codeigniter. In details, you will learn how to create a full backup to all your projects with Codeigniter. How to create a MySQL database backup. How to send this backup to your mail. And finally, how automatically finish these tasks in a specific date with Codeigniter and cron job. Now, let's do it. To make everything simple as possible, we collect all our functionality in one controller, one class. Here, we have the index, which is call build backups function. In build backup functions, we call in order the three main functions. The first one, which is responsible for create a database backup. The second, which is responsible for create a project files backup. The third, to send all these backups to our mail. Now let's see how they work and how they work together. The first one which is database backup. We pass the date to this function, then we load the file helper. Then we load the DB utility class, which is responsible to call and connect with our database. After this, we call a backup function, which is a function in DB utility class to create a full backup to our database and then send all this backup to backup variable. Then we call a write file, which is a function in file helper. To help us to write a new file with the extension zip and we pass the date to the name so it will write the file in global bus and it will start with database underscore date then we but dot zip. The second function which is project backup which is responsible to create a full backup to our project. Again we send the date as a parameter to this function. After this we load the zip library. Then we have two functions in this library. Read there and archive. Read there to read the full path for our project. As here we have codeigniter dash php excel and we use fc path to read the full path to this project. After this we call archive to archive the full directory and save it or archive it under global directory with the name project underscore date dot zip let's see that practically we will remove the comments and print fc both call the backup class and as you see this is the full path for our project C exam htdocs Codeigniter PHP Excel. If we go here, C exam htdocs Codeigniter PHP Excel. This is our project, the full project. After this, we suppose that database backup and the project backup 
all these files saved under global. We use from with info at webeasystep.com, the official mail for our website to fakhrawi at gmail.com with attach with the full path for the project and the database. The subject for this mail will be backup for and we add the date. We name every backup with its date. The message body is the same and after sending this mail we removed all these backups for security reasons. Else if not send this mail we will show the error with the print debugger. Another note we use archive here to make an archive file and save it under this path. If we want to make it a downloadable file, we replace this function with download. Okay. So this archive, which means save the zip file under global. Now, the time for test. Let's test first. Remove this print and we call backup. And sorry for that. We will stop send backup because it will not work under localhost. Let's try, refresh, and the two files saved here. Let's open that. Go to global, and we have database underscore and the day for now it is today and let's extract this file here and this is our tables if we go to localhost php my admin and demo we have all these tables ci sessions users voting voting counter and here all these tables second is project this is the coordinator PHP Excel and this is the full project files now the time for the cron job I will upload this file to my website and I will come back to make a final test to send this backup to our mail. To make a schedule backup or an automatically backup, we should go to cron jobs and create a new cron job, which is simply as order to the server to make a specific task in a specific time. As simple as this. Now let's go and create new cron job. Click on cron jobs. Then go to common settings. We choose the time once per minute, once per five minutes, twice per hour twice per day or whatever you want I will make once per minute to make it as a test then we will point to the backup controller in the demo 
Remember here, you should first write this word, then the domain name and your backup controller, or if it in another path, you should put your controller here, like this. But I have another directory in webeasystep.com, so I put this backup controller under demo then I add a new cron job here the cron job created yes it is worked as expected and the files was attached here finally I hope this tutorial to be helpful and don't stay to ask a questions, leave a comment, like, and share, subscribe if you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next.